Well, as usual, here we are when I would much rather be playing another game like Dragon's Dogma 2, <laughs> but I guess I must persist here. Uh, I was just going to go to Monster and start that uh, Alchemist quest line shop thing, but I remembered why I was here. Um, I just need to get rid of this piece of rock. Excuse me while I just destroy this and I'll be about my business. Fire hazard. I don't want to have to change my character, so someone's just going to have to pony up and get rid of it. Don't make me get a claymore user up. There we go. Alrighty. Now, what were we actually doing? Does anyone remember? Try entering the waterfall. Ahaha. Ahaha. Probably shouldn't be standing on this. <laughs> uh, now, why were we a domain? Okay, look, it's open. It's open. You know? And there's a quest marking its location. Cool. Great. I don't have to worry about that now. I did the thing I wanted to do before I forgot that that was the thing I had to do. Alchemical Ascension. Lisa's running a store. Swoop as well. Let's go. Wish you could fast travel to like specific Up buildings in cities. That'd be super cool. Like if I could just fast travel to Knights of Avonius and like it would put me inside of the building. That'd be a unique huh. treat for the game. I don't see that happening though. Lisa, I can help you run your shop now. I'm furry. I mean, I'm not, but you know, I'll pretend that I am just for you. What a jaunty tone. Oh, June, June. cutie. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone. I wish and no. We're here to see you, of course. We were just passing through. Ugh, she'd prefer that response. <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Aww, I like afternoon tea. Wait, you're actually busy <laughs> with... What? <laughs> That's not a sight you see every day. <laughs> the way she says it, you're actually busy with work? Wow. <laughs> True though. <laughs> you're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the oh academia. Oh my word, that was a very long time ago, Lisa. I haven't done you're this much thinking for a long person. time. It's rather exhausting. It's exhausting. <laughs> working and thinking is exhausting. Uh, are you working on a research project? <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? I mean, I'd prefer to know what it is before I get myself embroiled in it. What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? I like research, though. It's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. Is that a no, then? <laughs> It'll be quite the rare opportunity to work together. And you would, of course, be generously rewarded. But if you don't want to... She's so good at emotional manipulation. Let's hear the details first. As you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. Yes, I have known this from the moment I stepped foot into Mondstadt. Thank you. But most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. I mean, that's fine. The public doesn't necessarily need to have knowledge of alchemy. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of Mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Is it just me? Or is this scene super bright and bloomy? It's painful in the eyes. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. But can't they already do that with Timaeus at the alchemist store? As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day. So Jean thought I was the best person for the job. I don't know why, but I've never liked the phrase potioneering. I just, I've always hated it. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use. And the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. 
Out of curiosity though, why has it taken you guys this long to bother making alchemical concoctions that actually benefit the everyday person? I mean, th that seems like e both a helpful and financially smart move, but instead you guys just keep doing your research on like completely unrelated matters. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. She's right. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Retail! Woo! Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one why pigeons? Idea, why pigeons? Why pigeons? Why are you hating on the pigeons specifically, Paimon? Timmy would be sad. It's just birds, man, birds. Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks, the Traveler. So you want the person who has no experience with either potions or running a store to run a potion store? And whose skill set is better used to many other things. Yep, makes sense. When I was at the academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. That's just because they were desperate. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. <laughs> youthful enthusiasm? Wow. Are you insinuating that the Traveler is old? <laughs> Which she is, but still. And Paimon for that matter. But interesting that now it's my cuties plural, but when you walk through the door, it's my cutie singular. She wasn't talking to you, Paimon. Yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon still thinks you're just looking for a way to plan <laughs> off your work. Yeah. We can just think of it as a favor for Lisa. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. If you give me more, I'm going to be greatly displeased. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. Well, out we go. It's on the coast, isn't it? Not really the coast, but oh, oh, that's not where I thought it was. I thought it was here. It's at the Whispering Woods. Why? What a strange place to put a shop. I mean, how is the local populace supposed to get here and order the shit when you're in dangerous <sighs> Hillichel territory? This is such a strange place to set up. You had so much real estate back on Mondstadt Island. Wow. Oh, Looks like weird. you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? <laughs> it was a group effort. I doubt she did A whole did bunch much. of knights helped out. Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potions. You'd think they would have had more hands-on, really. And Timaeus as well. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. Who or what is a logistics company? I've, we've not heard of them before. Now with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Who am I selling to? People don't live here. There's literally a Hillichel hut right there. Like, bro, could you have picked a stupider spot? Wow. If you want a shop, put it in the goddamn city or next to the city. The knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. No one's traveling here, Lisa, for your silly store. Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? Nobody said I had to brew potions. You just said I had to work retail. They're two very different things. We don't make what we sell, Lisa. Your alchemical journey has begun. Use your ingredients. My ingredients? <laughs> Bitch, please. A little inspiration to make some fresh new concoctions. Rewards. 
crap I don't need. Swell. Try brewing a potion. Oh my god, does this music go on the entire time? The music may be turned off shortly. Place ingredients and cover... Sorry, it's just not my genre. And cover more... Wait, what? Place ingredients and cover more air... I did... Sorry, I didn't realise this was a mini game. I thought it was just gonna be like... The cooking with... 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 Smarty... Yunshell. But no, this is more involved. More area to increase the t t tuning rate? Is that even English? For this concoction, when the tuning rate reaches 100% or higher, you can concoct the potion and to receive the finished product. Cover more area. Are they not specified tile sizes? So how do you cover more area if they're all set sizes? Or do you just mean Tetris and fit as many physically on as possible and you get unlimited numbers? Okay, fine, whatever. Check the efficac efficacy icon at description. Efficacy. Do I care what it does? I'm not consuming it. I really don't care. Can we rotate? Oh, we so can. Oh, well. Rotate. Oh, it has to go like that. Okay. Wait, give it to me. Boop. Okie dokie. That's totally not what I pressed, but since we're here, stop telling me to place, man. Just leave me be. Placed. Consider it done. I got 160% tuning rate and I wasn't even paying attention. Nailed it. Don't show me again. If I say yes, you say yes. Bare bones basic bottle. <laughs> a very plain and unassuming bottle with a comparatively flat shape that seems suitable for storing a large volume of liquid within. What? Complete packaging? Oh man, I've got the good shit here. Potion level plus three. Beginner constitution potion, two stars. Endurance, steadying. Levels from the quality of base ingredients. Levels from having a 160% tuning rate. Okay. Whoa. Hi. Increases the, the efficacy provided by all ingredients when concocting potions. Okay. You will initially have one chance to concoct a potion each operation cycle. By using more ingredients when concocting a potion, you can gain more alchemy level experience and potion ingredient experience. And there is a chance to create... Have I ever mentioned how much I hate Tetris, by the way? Uh, there's a chance to create an even stronger potion. Make good use of your opportunity to concoct potion. Okay. Add to shop storage. Oh, try like to sell your, your product. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. Okay. Potion stock. I got three of them or is it a plus three? No, there's only one of them. Potions with exactly the same efficacy cannot be stocked for sale at the same time. Why? Looks like we're done with oh, all the three pepper. there. Why don't we take a short break? Hold up. Just no. I'm sorry, but this is not my type of music. I cannot handle it. Hush. Okay, end the current cycle operation. Uh, okay. Financial report. I didn't see a single customer, but apparently it's sold. Revenue details. Revenue for this cycle, 575. Total potion costs 100. Profits 475. Gold. Normal sales. Revenue breakdown. Sales volume 5. Pay close attention to the financial reports and see which potions are selling better. Why are you getting angry at me, man? It was my first potion. That way we can figure out just which potions are in the most... I've got to work that out. I didn't sign on for some business logistics. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, it seems like everything is going well. You've already sold your first batch of potions. Not a bad start at all. There are people here. Yeah. As for what potions you should brew next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. How? We sold one type of potion. I don't exactly be getting much feedback from that. That means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Uh, that sounds kind of hard. 
Good. <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. Great. Good Hunter is coming up with new dishes for adventurers who love battling. That's ambiguous. The owner of a monster flower shop is looking to have their fresh flowers grow more lushly and extend the time they are in bloom. Cycles two to four. What do you think? Right. Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Absolutely not. Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Jesus, this gets more complicated by the second. Using different herbs in the brewing process Herbs. Will in turn an age. alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. I'd rather you just gave me a recipe. I'm not the experimental type. All right, cutie. Why don't you get started? Sorry, I leaned on my mouse a little too heavily. Try to cultivate ingredients. Okay, looks like we've got flower planters up here. Cultivate ingredients. Different cultivation areas can be assigned ingredients separately. After a certain number of operation cycles, your ingredients will mature and can be harvested. Once you complete this harvest, the cultivation area will automatically cultivate the previously selected ingredients. The cultivation progress of ingredients will not be saved if you change the <coughs> ingredient assigned to the cultivation area. After your alchemy level increases, you can unlock more cultivatable ingredients. Cultivatable. <laughs> You will also be able to go to the Knights of Avonia support staff to expend funds. And there, there are support staff here. It's not just me. Well, that's good to know. To expend funds and expand the cultivation area. Huh? I mean, do, I've got to pay for more plots. Is that what you're saying? I need to cultivate more ingredients at the same time. Why don't you just say that? You can go see people to buy more plots. Enjoy. Press the cultivation area to view area detail. What? Press the cultivation area. What? What? Harvest mature ingredients. It's matured. Congratulations. Harvest all. Select the area with no ingredients cultivated. Choose an ingredient to cultivate. I guess we're gonna be doing the Julian Tilly because it doesn't tell me what else it wants me to do. Cycles to mature. One. Expected quantity. Four. Current stored quantity. Nine. Cultivate. You can change ingredient in any area at any time. Okay. 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 Are we just leaving that? I guess we're leaving that. Seems like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. Yeah, I don't know about that, dear. Ah, I should probably mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. Wait, what about you? Yeah, shouldn't it be our time to shine? You know, the three of us? What about your role in all this? Y you actually thought she was going to stick around? <laughs> Naive Paimon. My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Okay, I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> Good luck. And Bales. <sighs> I knew this would happen. Yep. Obvious from the beginning. Talk to Frida. Frida! I've been instructed to speak with you. Hi. Greetings, honorary knight. Yo. Greetings, Paimon. My name is Freda. I'm a knight from the logistics company. I'm sorry, Freda. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and her loyal attendant. Wow, Paimon's fame is really spreading across the land! <laughs> um, God. one small correction, though. Paimon's her companion, not her attendant. <laughs> oh no, you are my attendant, child. <sighs> my apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. It's just like something out of a novel. It's because she doesn't contribute, isn't it, Freida? You're practically legends at this point. I'm, I'm a bit jealous, actually. I'd love to wander the land in search of adventure like one of those knights you read about in stories. <sighs> Seems like a really fun life. Is that why you joined the Knights of Favonius? But then why did you join the logistics company? It doesn't sound like you're going to be going touring as a logistics company member. Maybe you'll get the chance one day. It's not actually all fun and games. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping at least. I don't think you're in the right industry. Anyway. The right branch anyway. We've got some prep work Oh my god, up, there right? are so many people here. This is just weird. My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. Great instructions are always helpful. If there's anything you need, just let me know. 
I apparently wish to purchase supplies. Your luck. I just got a new batch of provisions. Yay me. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. I want a new plot. Thank you. Ooh, it's expensive. Taking it anyway. Ooh, potion bottles. Holy shit, that's expensive. No, I think we'll patiently wait for that. They're so pretty though. Look at the jonky cat. Actually, to be honest, the rest all look absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, you've, you've just introduced something that works for me. I like pretty things. <laughs> all right. I don't trust Paimon with the brewing. At all. She can't be trusted. Expand one cultivation area. Check. Revenue reaches 50,000. God, that's uh, incredibly optimistic. There are different... Oh, my word. Okay, let's go. Open handbook operations. You, Use your operations handbook to actively end the current operations cycle. Resting on Lisa's chair can also achieve the same result. You can view the completion status of various tasks in the current cycle. Click the icons to track your objectives. Okay. What does this button do? Oh, it just takes me to there. Uselessly. Okay. Alchemy level. Level two. That's great. Uh, Hidoki. Yeah, probably shouldn't have done that, but it's done now. <laughs> So I can go cultivate something, do some alchemy, get some sales. Concoct potions to accumulate experience and raise your alchemy level. The higher your alchemy level, the stronger your potions affects and the greater the chance of creating an even more potent potion. What is this? Hi. Ooh, that's pretty. When certain conditions have been met, you can spend funds to improve your final potion products. Enhanced potions can be sold for a higher price and the potion's efficacy or special characteristics will not change. Interesting. Currently on sale. Wait, you can do ingredients? No. I love to say special calla lily. Whatever. Financial report. Gotcha. Okay. Have you ever kept goldfish as pets? They're very cute. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So we need to make potions that relate to the things we were told about. Except I've got to work. Okay. When placing ingredients, you can cause the potion to gain efficacy values of five different types, including constitution. So, yeah, I know. It's up there. When you finish concocting potion, the efficacy value that is the highest will determine the potion's type and grade. There are four different potion grades. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, special. And this is primary determinant of the separate. What? The efficacy value of that is the highest. Okay. The efficacy value that was not sufficient to reach the next potion grade will be converted to a potion level of 0 to plus 10, increasing the sale price of the potion. I don't think I quite understand, but okay. Increasing the tuning rate to over 100% using a beautiful bottle. That cost me money. Or receiving a lucky bonus can all increase the potion level. Mm, okay. So what did we need? We needed somebody who wants... Mm, oh, this seems appropriate. Where's my market? That's not my market. Yes, it is. I was looking at this. Fresh flowers to grow more lushly and extend the time they are in bloom. Uh, I don't think any of that applies, to be honest. I don't quite know how to help you. Constitution, maybe? I don't think charisma is going to help the plants. <laughs> ba balanced? <laughs> I'm really not sure what you want. And then the other thing, God, I think we're going to fail here. I don't know how to apply the uh, information given to me. Uh, who love battling. Uh, do you mean combat? Your, your wording is so fucking vague. Okay, in that case, constitution and strength maybe? Okay, let's just work at our con and strength. Okay. I'm going to have to think about this. Give me a sec. Excuse me. Obviously that has to happen, but this is a problem. So. You can do one. Two. 
two. Why you you have issues? Three. We waste a spot there, which just sucks. But we've got a good tuning rate, uh, and then a bit of dexterity. Well, dexterity never hurt anybody, right? Oh, it's a four. -er. Get out of it. Damn it. Okay, well, this isn't the most effective thing we could have done. Let's be real. She's a bit dodgy. Uh, 145, is that really what we're going for here, guys? Is there a better way we could have done this? No, because then you waste... Oh, actually. But, oh my god, would you stop doing that game? If you do that... We then get to throw one of these bad boys in. And then we get 160% again. And strength is still the primary. Steadying warm. What does that mean? What do you mean warm? I don't know. I'm just going to press this button and move on. Go team. And you get to go on that. Yep, cool. It's all I've got available. Okay. I didn't level though. Head to shop storage. Uh, I really don't know about... Oh, we can only make right I follow. I don't know what to do with this flower person. Um, And I don't want to Google it because that feels like cheating. I don't know how to help. Lisa, help. I don't understand. Potions you concocted must be stocked before they can be sold. Potions with exactly identical efficacy cannot be stocked at the first sale at the same time. What do you mean by efficacy? Do you mean like constitution versus strength? Hmm. Market news is a guide to selling potions. Yeah, but I don't understand it. How do you make things grow? What statistic helps growth? I don't know. The more the efficacies and characteristics of your potions can fulfill market demands, the greater your sales volume will be and thus the greater your revenue. During shop operation cycle, Paimon will help record potion efficacies and characteristics that are in demand. If you discover a potion with efficacies and characteristics that are even more suited to the, than the current market, she will update. I'm so confused. Uh, when each operation cycle ends, your potion sales will be totaled up with a financial assessment based on sales rec volume. Check your financial report to see if your potions are in tune with the market demand. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what to tell you. I can't make any other potions. Uh, I was going to put something over here, but I don't know what, to be honest. Cultivate something. I don't, I don't, I don't know what. Uh, the choice is constitution, which is already there. Strength is already there. We have dexterity or balanced. I'm going to do some balance, I think. Okay. Cool. That should be good for next round. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't really know what else to do. I'm going to be honest. So I'm just going to go finish. <laughs> I don't know what the market wants from me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So... Revenue minus cost equals a fairly good profit. Demand exceeds supply. That's a good sign. <sighs> okay. Okay, so that wasn't accepted quite as well as I was hoping. That's really sad. Uh, okay, she's like, yeah, it's great. And I'm like, mm, sure about that. Right. Yeah.